Hi everyone, here's Arne and we are playing Thimbleweed Park. We are playing as a Dolores. We read the whole diary of Mr. Chuck and it's uh, just uh, volume one. Lot of interesting information like that Mr. Reyes it was a security guard in the pillow factory and they blame him for the fire and most likely junior detective Reyes is the son of this person. Walk to the check register. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Check check register. Okay, so we will try to find out what Uncle Chuck is doing. So pick it up. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Freaking hell, you have pockets really, really big. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. From the checks, you can find out a lot of. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Yeah, because he knows only shovel. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Phase memory monitoring. Use it. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. Okay. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. I don't think so. Yeah, you cannot talk to him. Uh, use it. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's a TX1138 tube in perfect condition. 1138 tube? Oh, that's a. Uh... Pick it up. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. Okay, have it. Pull it. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. Mm -hmm. It's a strange device with a red button. Oh, red button. I like buttons. Pick it up. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. No. Use. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Okay. Whatever. Oh. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller. Paid in full. Oh, so we will take a puller and we will take this tube as well. Robot shells. And we need a finger. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. Are you sure? I knew it wouldn't work for me. Hmm. Stay on. Okay. It doesn't work in that. Fine, let's go out. Where's the office? Pretty dark in here. that every time I'm using the door the tube lights on so if I will go oh digging hi Doug what are you digging all right Dolores I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby mostly holes but then I buries them again all the tiny okay Doug 
You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! No. That's really strange, Doctor. Hi, Doug. What no. are you digging? All right, Dolores. There I'm just no digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Digging! It's back. I like to keep my bed made. Never know who might walk into my room. Ah, uh, Dolores, you are not. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. Use it. It's my handy ASCII chart. Then Never know up. when you'll need. I don't want to pick that up. You have dare practice ASCII tape. Oh, so you just look at it and it's practicing. Okay, great. Lenore in the library. And why I don't have the trophy with me? Pick up the red gel decoder. These are part of my action figure collection, yeah, including my Ada. You're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to do. With the Printron 3000 was Uncle Chuck's final invention before he died. It's connected to my computer. Wrench. Okay, there is nothing here. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are? Yeah, they are the authors of this game. And other games as well, so it's an homage for them. Fine, let's go out. Still don't know what to do, so let's talk to the... Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. Let's really? get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. I hope nothing. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Okay, you dress like a whore, act like a whore, and you are a stupid bitch. Oh, sorry for my French. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Chucky alone. Okay, don't need to. Ah, spaghetti and bean balls. Ah, that's exactly what I did. Made. Today. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Pick it up. Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. Peter. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Well, Leave Peter alone. Uh, in general, it means we didn't have a voiceover for them. So. Uh, like a lawyer or as like a solicitor so, yeah don't have the lawyer card specs don't have this don't have that okay so talk to Lenore okay we got off on the wrong foot let's try again Lenore Hey Lenny, long time no see! Hey Lenny, long time no see! Screw you, Dolores. You know I hate it when you call me that! 
If you just came here to piss me off, then leave. Because we both know there's not a snowball's chance you were left anything good in the will. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Uh, problem is, I don't know how his name calling is. Would it kill you to help out a little? Hmm. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. Blah, I blah, was blah, blah, always blah. there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. Uh, I have a feeling you will be the one really, really best. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Yes, yes, please. Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. Okay, that means it's every time it's quite normal for having a rehab instead of really working. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Heh, <laughs> nice. Anyway... Murder Simulator. Okay, I'm playing a lot of Murder Simulators, and I'm trying to get it as a living. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. Okay, so Chucky? Like a doll, Chucky? How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Uh, I think Peter has a similar opinion. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, okay. you say it to me. Don't Peter is embarrassed to talk to a... Um, you know what? Okay. I don't remember. There is... N I do remember that there is nothing to... Actually... I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? I'm at the staircase. Yes. Should I use it? How I will find the Asian astronauts? Why is this so big area? I think there is something. And there is nothing. Okay. Okay, Jack is Anubis. 
that was already there. So they needed to... Ah, spec! Spec, spec. I see you. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, uh, no, 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 I didn't. Amazing. Okay, use it again. Even though it says walk. Again, an inconsistency. Uh, uh, yeah. Big. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. I don't need to find any books now. I need that volume 2. I need to find... Office. There's nothing, there's nothing. There has to be an office. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work in that. I think you are looking for something, Doug. Dig it in the entryway! there okay I would like to talk to him uh hi ransom what the f do you want were you the killer were you the killer no way I hardly ever even leave the circus except to pick up all my fan mail I believe you you're kind of a creep but I don't think you're a killer you Okay. Are you sure it wasn't you that killed that poor man? You! You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck, I loved insulting kids. It was so easy to make them cry. <laughs> Seeing you curse scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career and now I can't even afford to buy makeup remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You! I need to go. So, I think I need to go to Tube. We keep on no, uh, Tube Remover. There is still this area. Which I don't know what to do there. Is it here? Two tubes. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes for Rubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. What happened really? to your bakery? They don't have anything oh, else I had to pivot. To talk about. People used to line up around the block for my no, 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 no. But over the past and couple of years, have business anything has really slowed down. Say. I'm not complaining though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Yeah, it's evening for eternity now. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm, 
I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. That's the same phone. Hmm. Games? Do you have something to talk about games? Who could be afraid of a meteor? Especially I like it when the enemies die. I grew up playing this game. It's why I wanted to be a game developer when I grew up. It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. That's nice. So, there is nothing. Where? So, it should be at the arcade. If it's a Tron, it should be at the arcade. But then I need to push it. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find. I can't pull that. It doesn't work in that. Okay, no Tron. So, let's... Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Pick up map. Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But I once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Really crazy. Why would you want to be like my uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. Yep. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. I think I've beaten all the games in the I arcade. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. Really? <laughs> oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. Most. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. Nice. Should I go there? No, I don't think so. Where to go? Bus station, history, there is nothing. Where? 
street. I would go to the town hall. I see. But there is nothing to... Lots of medical books there. Hmm, paste on everything. Standard city issued desk, but with no drawers. Use a key. It doesn't work in that. It would be a very big surprise. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the airwaves. We've taken over the radio station until they stop. And now back to our special hostile takeovers. Hostile takeovers. Radio station, I wasn't there. Hotel, is there something with the hotel which I would like to see? No. Old circus, no. Okay, with Dolores, I will go there, because there is a high probability that there is an office in the abandoned factory. Wow, that's a big factory. The future used to be a wonderful thing. Foreclosed by order of Safely First Savings. And in small print, it says, For inquiries, contact Safely First Savings, probate executor of this property. Mm. Looks dangerous. It's a locked gate. Yeah, I get the key to factory gate. Isn't the key? This? It doesn't work in that. Well, this is a, probably the gate which we had on the introduction. It's locked. Mm, I don't think we have a possibility how to open it now. So, not a. So Edmund mentioned mention. Dig in. Digging for something sinister. Okay, everything is light up. Let go. Bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Used to. Um, what's the later? It doesn't work in that. Look at him. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a defunct robot prototype. That doesn't seem to work. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Bad. Push the bed. 
I can't push that. Use the red decoder to... I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Am I? Work in that. There is nearly nothing to do. Okay, what is that? Collect specs, get to factory gate. Mm, so. I think we have a, this possibility to go to no old cypher's radio station. We go to the hotel. I will be able to talk. That. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? <laughs> Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be a boo of service? <laughs> I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, I think this is the place where I will end this video. And let's try to... Let's try to find a way how to work with this. Okay, see you later. If you like it, please subscribe. If you don't like it, leave a message. If you like it even more, leave the message. I would like to know what to play next time. So, see ya. See ya later. Bye.